Frank was worried. Retirement was not what he expected. He missed his colleagues, the routine, the feeling of being useful. His days were long and quiet. His pension barely covered the bills. He loved his wife dearly, but the worry was eating away at him. One Tuesday, Frank bought a lottery ticket. He didn't expect to win. It was a silly dream, a flicker of hope in the drudgery of his day. That night, he watched the draw, numbers swirling on the screen. He checked his ticket, twice, three times. Disbelief, shock, joy. A roller coaster of emotions surged through him. He had won. He had actually won the lottery. Frank's heart pounded. He had to tell someone. He had to tell everyone. His old friends, the ones he used to meet at the pub after work, they would be thrilled. He grabbed his coat, a giddy smile spreading across his face. Tonight, drinks were on him. The ticket quivered in his hand. It felt like a dream, a flimsy piece of paper holding the weight of his future. The winning numbers, circled in red ink, seemed to glow under the dim kitchen light. He thought of his wife, Margaret, how her face would light up, how the worry lines etched on her forehead would finally fade. No more scrimping and saving, no more sleepless nights worrying about bills. He thought of his children struggling to make ends meet. He could help them buy a house, secure their children's future. The thought brought a lump to his throat. This wasn't just money. This was freedom. This was a chance to make things right, to bring joy back into their lives. He clutched the ticket to his chest, a feeling of overwhelming gratitude washing over him. He had to get to the pub. He had to tell his friends. They wouldn't believe it, not at first. But the look on their faces when they did, that's what he was living for. The pub was a familiar sight, a beacon of warmth and camaraderie. The same worn-out stools, the same dartboard adorned with faded pictures of local champions. The air, thick with the smell of stale beer and peanuts, felt strangely comforting. Frank pushed open the door, the familiar chime announcing his arrival. A chorus of greetings washed over him, his name echoing through the room. His friends, huddled around their usual table, looked up in surprise. He hadn't been there in months, the burden of his worries keeping him away, but tonight, his heart felt lighter than it had in years. He approached the table, a mischievous glint in his eyes. Evening, lads, he said, his voice thick with emotion. Drinks are on me tonight. And I mean it, the good stuff. Confusion rippled across the table. This wasn't like Frank. He was always careful with money, always the first to suggest splitting the bill. This sudden generosity, coupled with the uncharacteristic twinkle in his eye, piqued their curiosity. All right, Frank, chuckled Dave, his closest friend. What's the occasion? You finally win that bet with the butcher about the football match? Frank just smiled, pulling a crumpled piece of paper from his pocket. He smoothed it out on the table, revealing the lottery ticket. The circled numbers seemed to scream at them. A collective gasp filled the air. Silence descended upon the group as they stared at the ticket, then back at Frank. The air crackled with disbelief, then erupted into a cacophony of cheers and congratulations. The night was a blur of backslaps, toasts, and laughter. Frank, usually a man of few words, found himself regaling them with the story of his win, his voice hoarse with excitement. He looked around the table, at the faces of his friends, etched with years of laughter and hardship. They had been through thick and thin together, their friendship a constant through life's ups and downs. You know, Frank began, his voice thick with emotion, I always thought retirement would be different, quiet, peaceful, but it was just lonely. This, he continued, his gaze sweeping across their faces, this is what I missed, the camaraderie, the laughter, you lot, you're my family, he raised his glass, to friends, to fortune, and to never growing old. The next morning, reality set in. Frank sat with Margaret at the kitchen table. The lottery ticket spread out between them. The magnitude of their win was slowly sinking in. What are we going to do with it all, Frank? Margaret asked, her voice trembling with a mixture of excitement and apprehension. Frank smiled. He had a plan, one that had been forming in his mind since the moment he saw those winning numbers. First, he said, taking her hand, we're going to take care of ourselves. 
that trip to Italy you've always dreamed of? We're going. Then, he continued, his eyes twinkling, we're going to help the kids. Pay off their mortgages, set up college funds for the grandkids, and, he added, a mischievous grin spreading across his face, I might just buy that little red sports car I've always wanted. The news of Frank's win spread like wildfire through their small community. Soon their humble home was flooded with well-wishers and long-lost relatives. Frank, ever humble, took it all in stride. He followed through on his promise, helping his children and friends, donating to local charities, and even investing in the struggling pub that had been a second home to him for years. But the most significant change was in Frank himself. The worry that had weighed him down for years had vanished, replaced by a newfound zest for life. He was no longer just a retiree, but a philanthropist, a friend, a beacon of hope for his community. He reconnected with old friends, took up new hobbies, and even started volunteering at the local soup kitchen. His days were full, his heart overflowing with gratitude and a sense of purpose. Section 8. The Ripple Effect of Kindness Frank's generosity had a ripple effect, touching the lives of everyone around him. His children, freed from their financial burdens, were able to pursue their passions. Dave, his closest friend, finally had the surgery he desperately needed but couldn't afford. The pub, once on the verge of closing down, was now thriving, a testament to Frank's generosity and the community spirit he had rekindled. It became a gathering place once more, filled with laughter, music, and the clinking of glasses. Even Margaret, initially hesitant about the sudden wealth, found herself swept up in the joy of giving back. She organized charity events, volunteered at the local library, and discovered a passion for gardening she never knew she had. Their lives had been irrevocably changed, but not in the way they had imagined. It wasn't just the money, but the opportunity it provided to make a difference, to spread joy and kindness that truly transformed them. Section 9. More Than Money As the years passed, Frank realized that the true value of his lottery win wasn't the money itself, but the way it had enriched his life and the lives of those around him. He had rediscovered the simple joys of life, spending time with loved ones, helping others, and appreciating the little things. He had learned that true wealth wasn't measured in dollars and cents, but in love, laughter, and the satisfaction of a life well lived. He often sat on his porch, watching the sunset, a contented smile on his face. He had come full circle, from the worried retiree to a man fulfilled his heart overflowing with gratitude for the unexpected journey life had taken him on. Section 10. The Gift That Keeps On Giving Frank's story became a local legend, a reminder that good things can happen to anyone, and that true happiness comes from sharing your good fortune with others. His legacy lived on in the countless lives he had touched, in the revitalized community, and in the hearts of his family and friends, he had shown them that it's never too late to make a difference, that even in the twilight years, life can be an adventure. His story was a testament to the power of human connection, the importance of community, and the enduring strength of the human spirit. It was a story that warmed the hearts of all who heard it, a reminder that sometimes, dreams really do come true. Section 11. Finding True Riches In the end, Frank's lottery win was more than just a financial windfall. It was a life-altering experience that taught him the true meaning of happiness. It wasn't the material possessions or the luxurious lifestyle that brought him joy, but the opportunity to make a difference in the world and to share his good fortune with those he loved. His story serves as a heartwarming reminder that true riches are not found in bank accounts, but in the warmth of human connection, the joy of giving, and the satisfaction of living a life filled with purpose and meaning. It is a tale that inspires hope, reminding us that even in the face of adversity, the power of kindness and generosity can transform lives in extraordinary ways. Frank's journey is a testament to the enduring human spirit, 
and the profound impact that one person's generosity can have on the world around them. It is a story that resonates with the very core of our being, reminding us that true happiness lies not in what we have, but in who we are and how we choose to share our lives with others.